Welcome to this new series which will be on AP 2D art. So as I was doing this specific AP exam, I noticed that there were no videos on YouTube that explained the logistics and overall, you know, how you are supposed to tackle this AP exam. If you want to know, I I got a 5 out of 5 on this AP exam. That's why I'm trying to, you know, inspire you to, to do this because it really helped me for, for, for my university courses. So, you know, even though I cannot teach you how to make your own portfolio because it's something that's very unique and personal to every single, uh, you know, creator, I can, I can inspire uh, the creativity in, well, the, in terms of, you know, I can show you what I did and hopefully, you know, that would, uh, you know, inspire you to use something that you are best at and, um, you know, create something out of that. So, you know, I, I wasn't really a good, I, a good person person who could Photoshop or nor did I have any previous camera experience but how but how did I do so well on on an exam where I basically had no arts or photography or you know no no real experience in in this field well you know I used binder clips binder clips so if you are watching this video, then you probably know that up until 2019, this test used to be divided into breath and so and concentration. And from 2020, they have changed it by a little bit. Before I show you the the College Board website, let me let me just quickly talk about this. The goal with with the AP 2D art exam is not to be, uh, you know, the best of the best at at you know using your artistic abilities to, to you know. To, to, it, this is an exam that looks at your creativity. This is a creativity exam. The reason why I did so well was because I used two very unconnected topics, uh, the, the Nazi Germany and binder clips, and I connected them. So I connected history, history with the office supplies, with office supplies. And I really hope that office supplies, supplies, and I really hope that you can already kind of, you know, think how could he have possibly done this. But in this series, I will go, I will go through each and every single one of my pictures. I will explain the motivation behind it and how I created it. However, before ending this introductory video, let's quickly take a look at the, the College Board website. So here, as I was saying, in 2019, you had your concentration, which was worth 33.3%. Then you had your breadth section, which was worth 33.3%. And finally, you had your selected works, which is called quality. And that was 33.3%. Now, this is the exam that I got a 5 on. However, one thing that I noticed is that th th they have put more weight on concentration instead of having this as 33.3 percent this is worth now 60 percent of your whole of your whole mark and they have completely removed the breadth section i will still show you what i did you know just in case you wanted to see it however you know you don't need to waste time watching those if if your goal is to just get inspired or just look at what i did for my concentration section and again, your selected works, which, you know, my teacher selected uh, for me, you know, I, I did not have a choice in this section, you know, and, you know, you do your best in, in uh, the, the, this sustained investigation now, which, you know, used to be called concentration. And, you know, th th then your teacher, who, who is probably better at this than you or me or, right, she, she will go in and she will choose the five most uh, uh you know uh, vibrant or mo or most attractive pieces of arts that that they in their opinion would be or or would cause your mark to go up the most so you know that, that if you if you are here to watch uh, how you know how to get a five then sure yes i can i can show you what i did however you know i cannot create or teach uh, creativity. I can only inspire creativity.
So stay tuned for the next videos where I will explain every single picture that I did for my portfolio on which I got a 5 out of 5.